Whoa. I can control the camera with my phone. It's a little delayed on my phone, but that's awesome. Hi, welcome back to another episode of Learning Fast with Darius or Colton, whoever you want. It's Darius's video, it's mine. L L anyway, welcome back <laughs> and go. Day six, look up how to get the film look on YouTube. Watch three videos, each one twice. I did one of these, so I'll leave a link in the description. Pick up your camera and record at least a two minute clip of anything using the proper settings you learned. Hi everyone, I'm your best friend. Back in town again to get you on your dancing feet. Explain stuff like I normally do, except this time it'll look better, hopefully. So, I'm wearing a hat because after I get out of the shower, I throw on a hat like this in backwards formation to form my hair the way I so desire. And I recently showered, as you can tell by the towel still wrapped around my waist. The f-stop is in 3.5, the ISO is at 640, I believe. Yeah, 640. The shutter speed is at 50 because I'm shooting in 24 frames per second instead of the 30 frames that I usually shoot in. This is the first day that I'm using the manual mode instead of the auto mode, except for the focus. That's still auto because manually focusing it, you know, it's just a thing. So that's still in auto. I also figured out while diving into my camera settings for the first time that I can adjust the recording, how the mic sounds. And I think possibly I, have may, I may have been recording with the onboard mic this entire time. So hopefully now I might be shooting with the actual road mic that's on top of this thing. So <laughs> fingers crossed that it's working. I already shot all of this footage, but I shot it in MOV format instead of MP4 format. So I wasn't able to put it onto my phone before I transferred it to my computer. Because that's my process right now. I have my camera connected to my phone through the internet and in the past all I've really done is transfer my footage from my camera to my phone and then from my phone to my computer because I don't have any kind of SD card reader on my computer so I'm not sure how else to transfer the footage. If you could help me out with that, that would be incredible. I dove into my camera settings a lot more than I have before and that required a few videos that weren't the filmmaking videos that I watched. So I watched a lot of stuff today and then I spent a lot of time with my camera today before I even started recording this. So I hope everything looks better. I'm also doing lights that I don't normally do. Usually I have a very yellow tungsten light on this side of my face because I have my ceiling light on and then the other light is white which is coming from my computer monitor slash computer TV and all I have up usually is a blank Google homepage or something, and that creates the white light, and then the tungsten light from that. And it's a very divided look. And as we learned yesterday, yes, yesterday, no, two days ago, two days ago, four days ago, I don't know, I don't know, what we learned in the past was the three-point lighting, but since this is a different setup than I have with my owl on that side of the room, I'm doing two-point lighting. So I'm doing one light, that's right here, instead of boom boom. I'm doing one light right here that's creating all of this light. And then I have a second light that's on my bed that is shooting at the far wall over there. And then everything bouncing off the far wall is the little bit of light that's going back there. See? I'll turn it off. And I, it still lights me pretty well, but there's that little bit of darkness that happens behind me. So I'm keeping that on just as an extra little layer. So it's two-point lighting instead of three-point lighting. And I'm learning, guys. So, I'm, I, like I said, I hope it all looks better than it usually does. I record in neutral so that the color corrections, I have a little more flexibility with what I do. So it creates a little more work in post, but it potentially creates a better image overall. So I'm gonna work with color correcting a little bit more in the edit, and I'm hoping it all turns out, like I said, I hope everything looks a step above what I've been 
putting out in the past. Please let me know if it looks better or if all of this work to make it look better failed miserably. Hopefully it helped. Thanks for watching and subscribe because that's something else I learned today is if I don't tell you guys to subscribe, there's a greater chance that you won't. If I do tell you to subscribe, there's still a pretty good chance that you won't because this content isn't very entertaining, but there's a slightly greater chance that you will. So subscribe.